Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to share with you a different kind of DIY. I made this wooden chair that is Montessori inspired for my son and I decided to share the process with you. It might look intimidating but don't worry it's really easy. I'm also a beginner at this. Let me quickly show you the final product how the chair turned out. I also made a pillow, a patchwork pillow out of my leftover fabrics, but I decided to place it on the back of the chair. So this is how the chair looks like without anything covering it. One of the requirements I had for this chair was to have those side panels, so the armrests, and of course a back so he can lean back when he puts on his shoes. You can customize the height of the seat, you can place it as high or as low as it is comfortable for your child to sit on, and you can even use a pillow to make the seat higher. And when your toddler gets bigger, you can just turn the chair upside down. Under the seat I placed a basket with his shoes, and here on the side we also have a basket with his winter hats and scarves. And then I also decided to add a hook so he can hang his jackets by himself. So these are the things that you'll need to make your own chair. First you're going to need some wood panels. I have here three panels that are 40 by 30 centimeters and one bigger panel that is 40 centimeters wide and its length is 40 centimeter plus double the width of the wood. I hope this makes sense. It's because you will place the wood like this on here so you'll need to measure the width of this wood as well but I'm going to leave a drawing on the screen so you will understand what I mean and you can measure for yourself how much you'll need to add to the 40 centimeters then you will need some sanding paper some screws and you'll also need some wood glaze this has no color so it's perfect for this project because I really love the color of the natural wood. And then you'll also need some brushes. First I took the back piece and placed everything as if I was building the chair. Now is also the time to determine the height of your chair. I've gone for 17 centimeters for our chair and I've used a measuring tape and a pencil to mark out the height of the seat on the side panels. Then I've drawn straight lines exactly where the wood panels will connect. Then I measured and marked the three points where I was going to add the screws later on. And I'm first going to drill holes exactly where I'm going to place the screws in. So since I haven't done this before ever, I was very particular and I wanted to measure everything beforehand to make sure I will drill in the right place and add the screws in the right places. So after I've made the first three holes, I've used some eyeliner and a needle and used that to mark a point through the hole I just drew onto the other piece of wood that I will need to drill in. So basically I just poked the needle through the hole I just made and that left a mark on the side of the other piece of wood. And then I knew exactly where I needed to drill next. There probably is a better way of doing this, I have no idea, I am just a beginner at this and this is the only thing I could come up with. So I did this for the other two holes as well and then I've drilled the side of the chair and added in the screws. Next you'll need to do the same thing for the seating part and lastly for the other side panel as well. And here is where you probably will need some help on the last step. And this is optional but I decided to also make a small pillow for the chair. And since I wanted the pillow to be brown and I only had some leftover fabrics, I've decided to go for a patchwork themed pillow. I randomly created this pattern that I've then cut to size, I've added the back and some side pieces and stuffed everything with some pillow stuffing. And as you can see from this footage, I also had a little helper there.
And once again, this is the finished product. I'm really proud of myself, to be honest. The only project similar to this that I've made was the toddler canvas swing. I will link it down below for you if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you decide to recreate it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or send me a message. I love seeing your creations. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.